everyone. Today I have a few things to show you and then we're going to do some collaging because that's what I do best. Um, I was watching Tibby um, I don't know how long ago, quite a while ago and she was using some wall lining paper. Now she lives I believe in the UK and I don't know if that's what they call it there but I went to Home Depot and I bought this stuff called Wall Doctor. I'll scooch in because I put my camera way back up there again. I hope I don't I don't have movement problems because I was getting them before. So anyways, I have lots of this, of this stuff. This, this drop sheet paper, the print stuff. But this, I'm not kidding, is thick. Um, This, you, um, okay, this is not, no adhesive on this wallpaper, um, it's called the Wall Doctor, and it's paste the wall lining paper. This is putting, putting this on before you put your wallpaper on, your wall, especially, I think, if you have a wall that, um, that has uh, maybe cracks or is you know a bit uneven and this fixes that so I kind of thought that I was going to take a piece of this I don't know how much I should take <laughs> I never I never thought that through now <laughs> I'm sure you can believe that of me because I never think anything through all the way. I know, I know kind of my plan. And now I'm probably in way too close and you can't see darn thing what I'm doing. Sorry guys. Okay. So, you got the whole table now. The mess and all. So I'm just going to just kind of try and do this straight. Anyways, I was watching Tibby, and that lady has phenomenal skills. I can't believe her doodles and her flowers and all the things that she does. It's just amazing to me if I could do half of what she does. I would be happy. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, I want to get this stuff. I got so much stuff in the front of me here that is just giving me real problems tonight. So I can't get the whole sheet, you see. Oh well. Anyways, I wanted to show you this, and I'm going to work on this tonight. Um, so. I also have something else to show you. Look at this phenomenal thing. <laughs> this is a washi tape thing. I saw someone on YouTube and, and I'll find the, I don't know if I'll find the link anymore. I was just surfing around, you know, when you're not you're not at home like I was doing it in Vancouver when I was there and um, I ordered this from Etsy so it, it, it is at Etsy but it comes from Greece look at look at this all these dowels fit through here and that's where you put all your washi tapes and I'll show you kind of how it works you just kind of slide the dowel a little ways and you you get your your washi tapes all on there and watch me now I won't get it right back in 
it's, it's a bit of a pain to put it back. Oh no, see, I got it right off the hop. Sometimes it's a bit of a pain. And then it has this serrated edge. I didn't think I would use that so much. Oh, is it ever a heaven sent, really? Like, I have so much old washi tape. Like, look at this. It just comes right off. It's, and I'm not wasting it. I'm putting it on here. <laughs> so, um, I just had to show you. And I, it holds, they said, it, I think he said, or they said, the site said, okay, yeah, it's his shop. Uh, said it holds 60, but that might be 60 skinnies. I don't know, I've never counted them. Three, four, five, six, there's seven. 12, 18, 22, 28, 32, 34, 40, 24, 6, 47. I have 47 on here. I think that's where I started, was right here. 47. Even at that, like it's holding, my goodness, like 50. I mean, these are mine. Are mine aren't even that big? I this row is big. That's about the only huge rolls of washi I have. These, this is. I still have some washi, but they're kind of duplicates. So <clears throat> this is it, guys. This is all I have. So, um, but I wanted to say, you could have this on the most beautiful desk. You know why? It's not going to scratch. Even though this is aluminum, they've got little, little feet on here, little feet, little feet on each corner, and they're like rubbery, so it's not going to scratch anything. I I worried about that because I was kind of putting stuff together uh, on my kitchen table upstairs, and not a problem. So, I'm loving this. This is, <laughs> I know, it's a space thing, but, you know, to me, this takes up less space than, I'll show you what I was putting them in before. <laughs> I was putting them in these um, plastic wrap things. See, I still have... I have some on popsicle sticks. I have, these are Halloween and Christmas. That's a duplicate. That one's really not, but it didn't, it didn't fit on there. And then I've got these itsy bitsy, tiny little spool things of washi. So, uh, yeah, that's what I was putting them in before. So I, and these are, these are duplicates. Not these so much, but these are. Um, I've got the ones on there that I want to use up. So, and this is another piece of washi that I have, but I've never used it yet. Um, this is actually packaging tape. This isn't even washi tape. So, not that's not even the same thing. But anyways, <clears throat> this holds a huge amount. And I will, for sure, put the link in the description below uh, to this Etsy shop if you're interested. Uh, it's not cheap. Mm, I think, I don't know. I don't remember. But I'm telling you, it's not cheap. So, I'm just saying. But I was sick of having my washi tape in that because I never used it. I think I'll use my washi tape more now. So, I got some, I printed some things from Tangi Baxter's Emporium because I, I belong, I belong to the, um, to the club. So, I printed some things and I want to collage them and 
I should have printed a few more of these because I just love that. I love this paper with these. However, <laughs> I've also got this was palette paper. And that's what I had on here um, the last in my last video when I was working in my in my art journal. So I brought it into this into this book. I think it was this book. Maybe it wasn't. I thought it might have been. No, it wasn't this book. It was this book. And I smooshed it because I didn't want to waste the paint. So um, I'll just get to it right here. I just smooshed it. I just took it and smooshed it around. And there's still more, so I smooshed it over here too. And that's what I was left with on my palette paper. Well, I can glue this palette paper down um, onto this sheet and we'll see what we're going to get. Here's my bag of stuff that I need to glue. <laughs> so I got I've got cords. Loads and loads and loads and loads. So I'm just um I'm just gonna pull out some that kind of goes, you know, like it kind of goes together. I'm just sort of looking. Um that's probably all I'm gonna find. Mm. I think I will this was in my, one of my journals, and I am I'm going to use it. It's um, jelly paper. I'm using it. I'm not throwing this away. So, what I'll probably do, oh, and another thing I'm using are these small little tubes of basics paint that I've got. You know, I don't know how much I can do with it, but um, I want to get them used up because they're just laying, they're in my way. They don't fit where all my other stuff fits. So I'm just trying to get this stuff out of my way. Okay, so I'm just going to go for it and I'm going to go into speed and um, yeah, that's what I'm doing.
Okay, I'm back. Another day, probably a week later, I finally got this done. And I'm pretty happy with it. So, I'm going to use it as a uh, book cover, or a cover for my journal. Just trying to get my journal here. Hang on a second. This is the... This is the canvas journal that I made uh, with watercolor paper, and I wanna I wanna get it covered. I, I could paint it, but I've painted this, and I think this will be this will be fabulous on here. Although I'm only going to be using a certain amount of it, so if there's enough here to cover, probably. I would say maybe two or three of these for sure two so uh, I can't really get the whole thing in frame because it's pretty big but this is what I love to do <laughs> I hope you enjoy this see you in the next video